All right, so today we're going to do a warm-up video. So this is a warm-up that any one of our gymnasts can use, and we recommend that you do this warm-up video before all of our other program videos. All right, so before we start, make sure you've got a nice clear space, no furniture in the way, and make sure you've got an adult present, so mum or dad or an, another adult in your family, to make sure you're being nice and safe when you do your home gymnastics workouts. All right, you won't need any equipment or anything else other than just your body for this warm up. All right, so we're going to start with a little bit of cardio workout so that we can get our heart pumping, get our muscles nice and warm. All right, so we're going to start off with 30 seconds of jogging on the spot. Ready, set, go. That's it, keep going. All right, we're halfway. That's it, keep it up. Only 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, without stopping, 10 high knees. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good job everyone. Next we're going to do 10 jumping jacks, then straight away 10 high knees again. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good job. Hopefully we're starting to feel a little bit warmer. We're going to do another 30 seconds of jogging. 10 more high knees, and then we're going to do some stretching. All right, ready, set, go. That's it, keep it up. Nearly done, halfway through. That's it, keep going, keep going, keep going. And five, four, three, two, one, and ten high knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good work, everyone. We all feeling nice and warmed up? Awesome. All right, we're going to follow me for some stretching. Starting with our arm circles, stretching out nice and wide. And going the other way. All right. You're going to have one arm nice and straight across your body. And using your other hand to stretch your muscle across your body. Good job. And other arm nice and straight. Use your hand to stretch. All right, this time you're going to put one arm up next to your ear. Bend your arm down. Reach your hands down your back. And then use your other hand to pull your elbow. Good job. And now the other arm. Reach up. Bend down. And pull across. All right, good job. Sitting down on the floor now for the next few. We're going to have our legs nice and straight out in front of us in our pike shape. Squeezing our knees, pointing our toes, reach up to the roof and stretch as far as you can. Try to walk your hands a little bit further out. And a little bit further. And coming up. This time we're going to do the same thing, but you're going to pull your toes up towards the roof. All right, we're flexing our toes. See if you can stretch down. And walk your fingers a little bit further. And walk them a little bit further. And coming out. All right, turning out into our straddle sit. 
legs nice and wide apart. Make sure your knees stay pointing up to the roof. Okay, we're going to stretch both hands to one foot. And then stretch both hands to the other foot. And then see how far you can stretch down the middle. Excellent. All right, bring your legs together. Give them a bit of a shake. Shake the muscles out. All right, next one we're going to do is our seal stretch. We're stretching our tummy. Make sure you're trying to get your feet squeezing together behind you. And then we're going to go into our cat stretch. So we're going to push our shoulders down into the floor. Excellent. Give your arms a bit of a shake. Give your whole body a bit of a shake. Give everything a bit of a shake. And we're ready to start our gymnastics programs. All right, today we are going to do some little challenges. All right, so if you like, you can film these and stick them up on the social media. Remember to tag Casey Gymnastics in any of your posts. So for these challenges, we're going to need something small. It might be a stuffed toy or a roll of toilet paper would work pretty well. I'm going to use this little foam block. All right, there's three levels of difficulty for each challenge. So you can just pick whichever one you think is most appropriate for you. All right, remember before we start, we wanna make sure we've got a nice clear space around us and make sure you've let mum or dad or an adult in the family know that you're going to be doing your gymnastics workout. All right, for the first one, with our foam block or whatever you've got to use, we're going to do tuck dish, just like this, making sure you're balancing on your bottom, squeezing our legs nice and tight. We're going to take our foam block. We're going to see how many times you can pass it around under your legs. All right, so you need to count how many times you can do this before your tummy muscles get too tired and you fall down. All right, difficulty level two. You're going to put the foam or the toilet paper in between your feet. We're going to go out into our dish shape. You're going to lift up, tuck, swap it over into your hands and down again. See how many times you can swap the foam block over before you get too tired. All right, and finally, difficulty level three for our dish hold. We're going to have it in our feet. We're going to go out into our dish. And this time we're going to do a V snap. Swap it into your hands and back down again. See how many times you can go before you get too tired. Now when I did this at home, my record was 37. So see if you can beat that. For the next one, we're going to work out our legs a little bit. So you're still going to need your foam block or your toilet paper roll, whichever one you're using. We're going to do some burpees. So you're going to do a little jump, squat down, put it on the floor, step your legs out into your front support shape, step back in, and then jump up again. All right? So from the side, it's going to look like this. We jump up, squat down, step our feet out, step back in, and jump up again. All right? So you're going to see how many of those you can do before you get too tired. Difficulty level two, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to keep our legs together the whole time. All right, so we're going to be doing our jump up, squat down, out, in, and up again. Just like this. All right, so see how many of those you can do. Now, if you're really super strong, we're going to add a push-up. When you do your push-up, you need to try to get your chin to touch the top of your little toilet paper roll or foam toy. All right, so it's going to be like this. Jump, squat down, push up, and again. Just like that. All righty. For the next one, we're going to do some deadlifts. All right, so level one, 
going to start with your legs apart. You're just going to bend in the middle, put it down, stand back up. Then you're going to go back down, grab it, and stand back up again. All right, so make sure when you're doing this one, you've got your legs just a little bit bent, and we're going to stick our bottom out a little bit as we go down. Just like this. Stand back up again. When you stand up, make sure you squeeze your bottom. And then we go down again, and standing back up. All right, for the next one, we're going to try to do it on one leg. All right, so it's a bit trickier. You've got to try and balance. So you're going to go down, put it down, and then back up again. Reach down, try to pick it up. I'm going to see how many of these you can do before you fall over. All right. Make sure with this one, have a go on both legs. You might find that one leg is a bit easier than the other leg. All right, now for level three, this one's super hard. What you're going to do is you're going to do a squat and then your deadlift. All right, squat and deadlift. All right, so you've got to see how many of those you can do in a row before you fall over. All right, we've got one more challenge left. This is our front support challenge, all right? So, front support challenge level one, so we're going to be in an angry cat shape. All right, so we're on our hands and knees, making sure we've got a nice round back. You're going to take your little piece of equipment, balance it on your back, and you've got to swap hands to take it down again. Okay? So you've got to see how many times you can put it up, swap hands, bring it down again. All right? Now the foam block isn't allowed to fall off your back. Okay? If it falls off, you need to start counting again. Difficulty level two. We're going to do our actual front support shape. All right? So we're up like this. I'm going to put the foam up, change hands, and down again. See how many you can do before you fall down or before the foam falls off your back. All right, now the third one is really tricky. You need to make sure you've got perfect shapes and really tight bodies. We're going to do push-ups with the foam on our back. All right, so see how many of these you can do when I did this one at home, I did 22 push-ups before the foam fell off my back. So see if you can beat me. All right, just like this. All right, so see how you go with those. Now, if you want some extra challenges, then you can see how long you can hold your front support while someone else stacks toilet paper rolls on your back. See how many you can get. Send us some photos on our Instagram or Facebook. Make sure you tag Casey Gymnastics. All right, hopefully we'll see you next week with some more awesome home workout videos. All right, so this video is going to be just a general cool down. So hopefully you've had a lot of fun doing your uh, general gymnastics at home workout today. So we're just going to do a couple of stretches just to finish off. All right, so just going to loosen up the shoulders. A few forwards, a few backwards. All right, a couple of arm circles. Just trying to slowly lower our heart rate, keeping the movement going as we settle ourselves down. Just some slight neck movements. Don't stretch yourself too far. And looking to each side. All right, we're going to do just a light twist. Loosening off our back after we've done all of that conditioning. All right, good. Give yourself just a bit of a shake out. Shake all your muscles, all your legs, arms, everything. All right, just a couple more stretches to finish off. We'll do a seal stretch. 
Good. You can put your head back for this one. Just relax into it a little. And our cat stretch, pushing our shoulders to the floor. Good. So you should feel your heart rate starting to go down now. Starting to cool down the muscles. Do a pike stretch. Stretch out those hamstrings. And a straddle stretch, reaching down the middle. Don't worry about stretching too far on these ones. But you might find, now that you're nice and warmed up, that you can stretch a little bit further than you did in the warm-up. We're going to do our butterfly. Use your elbows to push your knees down towards the floor. All right, and finishing off with just a little twist. To each side. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed all your workouts today, and we're looking forward to seeing you again.